Welcome back, you beautiful weirdos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna do something super fun today. I've got three different colors of dip powder. These are all from Sassy Mouth. I will leave everything linked down below in case there is anything you feel like picking up or that you might need, but we're gonna do a triple ombre today with dip powder and gel polish. Here is everything you're going to need. Of course, I'm using my 89 cent eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. Safety first, you guys always know. We're gonna get started with gel polish application. Now you do not need gel polish to do any of this. If you wanted to do the same exact design using only dip powder, you totally can. You can use the scrub ombre method. Do your white dip powder, scrub over your colors. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. This is my personal easiest way to do an ombre ever. And yes, you can do triple ombres. It is gonna come out so stinking cute. Y'all just wait and stay tuned later on because I'm gonna show you how to paint palm trees that are so easy. You can do it, I promise. If you've ever been intimidated with nail art, this is another one that is super duper easy, beginner friendly, and they look adorable. You would never believe they were hand painted. They look stamped or like a sticker, but they came out so cute and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get gel polish on all of these nails. I'm gonna do two coats. I'm only gonna show you one and then we're gonna get right into the ombre. So I went ahead and I cured each coat of gel polish for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in with my matte gel top coat. This for me is the magic. This makes this entire ombre process the way it is. We're essentially going to stain the matte top coat. If you have been here for a minute, you have already seen this. If you're new here, hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm Marla Chris. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you'll stay and subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I do nail content twice a week, every week, but let's get into the ombre. Okay, so as you can see, I cured my matte gel top coat. It comes out completely matte, and now I'm taking my dip powder. You can use eyeshadow or pigment powder, whatever you have on hand, and I'm just pressing that into the matte gel top coat. There is no tacky layer. I'm just staining the matte top coat with the dip pigment. That is all. Once I have the blue on about a third of the nail, I'm going to go in with the purple after I clean off my brush. I love this color switch thingamajig. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, so I clean off my brush. You can use more than one brush if you want. You, you know, you, you do what you feel is right for you. So now I'm going to go in with the purple. I'm going to blend that into the blue and take that for another, about another third of the nail. Once I have the purple down the way I want it, then we're going to go in with the pink and put that on the free edge of the nail. Easiest ombre ever. There is literally zero skill to this. If you can make a mess, you can do this. That's literally all we're doing. We're staining the matte top coat and it's going to create this beautiful ombre. Now, if you wanted to do two colors, you can do two colors. If you want to do five, do five. It all depends really on your nail estate. The more nail you have, the more freedom you have to do as many colors as you want. Again, cleaning off my brush in between colors and then I'm going to get on the pink at the free edge. Once I have this all on, I am going to put on another coat of the matte gel top coat. I prefer to do my nail art over a matte surface. You can choose to do whatever you want to do, <laughs> but I find it easier for me to do any kind of nail art over a matte surface. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how to do the most perfect little palm trees.
so now that my ombre is protected, I'm going to go in with my nail art. I'm going to use this color. It's just a black by d and I think it's called Black Ocean. And my Beatles liners brush, you know I'm obsessed with these brushes. And here's what I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm only taking a very little bit of product. And I'm going to make kind of a swoopy line going halfway up the nail maybe. You can make these as big or as small as you want. I'm going to give this one a neighbor <laughs> because I don't know. I was feeling in a Bob Ross zone today for some reason and i'm just gonna get this swoopy on the nail this is gonna be the trunk of our palm tree you don't have to go for perfection here once we get the tree kind of situated we can go back in which you will see and i'm going to clean it up make it exactly the way i want it now we're gonna do four palm fronds that's it again you can do as few or as many as you want but i'm doing kind of two on each side of the tree once I have the fronds situated, again, I'm going to go back, tidy up the tree trunk a little bit. Palm trees are typically thicker on the bottom and they get a little bit skinnier on top. So that's what I'm going to do with this. And I'm going to flash cure it because I'm going to put in the little, little stringy bits on the palm fronds, but I don't want to mess up and then have to start all over again. So I'm going to flash cure this for about 15 seconds. And then I'm going to go in and put in all of the fringy bits on the palm fronds. Now we're going to do the little I don't know what do you want to call them the little stringy things that hang off the fronds so with the lightest hand and the minusculest amount of product i'm just going to pull little bitty fronds off of each one of those bigger fronds i'm going to start at the bottom and do the bottoms of each frond and then if you're feeling frisky which apparently i was <laughs> you can go back and add more on the tops of each frond totally optional this is your art this is completely what you want to do. You can make it as big or as small, as fluffy as you see fit. But once you have it the way you want it, cure it for a full 60 seconds. Black gel polish for me, I feel like I need to cure extra. I don't want any uncured gel anywhere. So I'm overly cautious as you guys probably know if you saw one of my more recent uploads, the No More Gel X upload. I'll leave that up in the cards if you want to check that one out. But as mentioned, 60 second care on this, and then we're literally done. As you can see, I gave that one a neighbor. I did a bigger one on my ring nail, and now all I have to do is throw on some No Wipe Gel Top Coat. You can leave these matte if you want, throw on another coat of your matte top coat. I was kind of feeling in a glossy type mood, so that's what I did for these. Once you have whatever top coat you want on, cure it for 60 seconds. As you can see or have seen, I like to flip my palette upside down and helps it just level out a little bit. So here's what the finished set look who the finished set <laughs> it looks like. I could not wait to get these on my nails. They are so unbelievably beautiful. I can't believe I made these. These are press-ons that I made and you can make them too. Look how stinking cute they look. I feel like that pink makes me look so tan. I'm not I'm not a tan human. Yes, I live in Florida, but I am pale and ghostly because I don't go outside during the day. I'm nocturnal. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you're new here, stick around and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the Manny fam. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a palm tree in the comments so I know you watched the whole video. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.